Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poiggy here getting ready to take out the American 1.0 P26B35 in uh, Air Arcade. So this should be an energy fighter. Um, it's fast, it climbs well, it holds speed well, it dives well. Uh, but there's two problems with this being an energy fighter at 1.0. One is the maps are so freaking short. So there's just not enough time to get more than a few kills flying the plane right. And uh, we want to get more to get this thing spaded faster. The other problem is it just has a 230 cal machine guns on it. So typically an energy fighter, you want to dive on somebody with just a brush stroke, kind of put some lead into them. If you got 50 cals or 20 mils, you'll take them out of the air, you know, more or less each time that you do that. This guy, you're gonna to have to do multiple passes so it doesn't fit our energy fighter profile for 1.0 even though it should be so what we're gonna do is to adjust and we're gonna go ahead and go after um, other planes and we're gonna try and get behind them the difference we're gonna do is we're not gonna do horizontal turns that just eat up our energy what we're gonna do is vertical turns and that's gonna allow us to kind of hold as much energy as we have uh, when you do a vertical turn basically you're giving up your energy in the air but by gaining that altitude, when you come back down to the same spot, you're going to have a lot more energy than if you go in like just a horizontal loop. So let's take it out and see what we can do. All right, the map is rear. We have our stealth ammo, 800 meter targeting distance and minimum fuel load. Throw the weapon on, climb at 30 degrees. It's going to do two important things for us. One is it's going to give us an energy advantage against anybody on our opponent's side that doesn't climb. And the other is, it's going to make it so that our teammates that don't climb are going to be out in front of us. So our teammates are going to be the first targets that our opponents are going to go after. They're not going to worry about us until they get the first guy who's furthest on the, uh, their side of the map. Let's see what their lineup is. Three bombers. The vast majority are fighters. Got this F3F to directly below us. Let's dive on him. Uh, Change that a little bit since these two guys are coming into support. Are right, gonna burn our guns up here? This is that vertical turn I was talking about. And that makes it so a plane that normally be a lot faster than us, we can catch up to. Put some rounds in, get a kill. Nobody close on the radar behind us, so we're going to fly over to our side where the I-15 is. He hears, no, we can't outturn him, but if we get in trouble, we're going to get support before he does. So we got half a chance of surviving. Alright, he's down, we'll reload our guns, check the radar, one guy low there. Also, the ideal way to approach another uh, opponent's plane is to drive directly down on him. That way, no matter which way he turns, you're still going to have a shot at him. So they can't just, like, you know, take a hard right turn or hard left turn and avoid your fire. They're really going to get it no matter which way they go. TBD behind us. He's coming closer. we got one second on the reload. This guy got to watch out for his back gunner. So we're going to get underneath the back gunner. Take some shots at him. Alright, guns will burn up in half a second. Now we're getting lucky on him. <laughs> How long it's taken for this to burn up. This might be a glitch in the matrix. Alright, reloading. Also, the worst place to try and shoot a plane down is behind it. So if you look at our plane right now, all you're seeing is curved surfaces. And it doesn't matter just like in tanks. Hitting a curved surface versus a flat surface, you're not going to have as much penetration. If you can get a plane from this angle, everything you shoot at it's going to penetrate. I mean, you're talking flat pretty much all the way around or underneath. If you can shoot them from the front, you got their engine. That's kind of <clears throat> the first thing you're going to hit, and uh, that'll slow them down a lot too, if not put them out. All right, CR-32 underneath us. He has 50 cows, so we don't want to get shot by him. 
but nobody ever had too much fun without taking risk. All right, he's diving out. We're not going to match that. We're going to go vertical. And might as well reload. We got time. Checking the map. There's a decent group over on our side. We'll head that direction. Rather than heading over to our opponent's side to try and make something happen. This is about as good of a setup as you can have. Yes, you know, our team's outnumbered. Yes, there are multiple opponents, but you can just dive in, take some shots, and then climb out, and they won't be able to follow us because they're all turning down at uh by the ground there. They just won't have the energy to follow us up. Oh well, end a little too early, but that's alright. Alright, that'll do it. Ended up with uh, five air targets. We got survivors, so most kills without losing our airplane. And second place on the team. Uh, not sure how we got first, having an assist, but must have put a little more lead into people. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. America! Fuck yeah! To save this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.